conversation was actually a conversation and so they made it into a book it's called evolve will become fertilizer for those who are now i'm going to read a couple of passages because it is in tune uh with what's going on today um so this is the opening statement of um pardon me in that book I'll read a few. Forward, the contents of this booklet are derived from a lecture given by Taj Tariq Bay on November the 15th of 2003, 1423 MC, at Moorways located on Market Street at Wilmington, Delaware, North America, Northwest of Mexico. Taj was asked to speak on the subject of unity and economics. However, his perspective, surprisingly, was not expected by the masses as he first saw it mo uh, most important to bring to the table the true, quote unquote, meaning of unity, quote unquote, and to dispel the commonly accepted myth that we as a people don't come together. And once the concept of unity was explained, a, a clearer a clearer understanding and comprehension of economics was gained. Once the issue involving economics was understood, we could more easily grasp why the gross national product, quote unquote, of the nation never matches up to reality and to true labor output. This information or informative lecture may prove to be very useful for all those who are in an honest search for social, political, and economic remedies for our Aboriginal natural peoples and for all natural indigenous peoples in general. Much of the information is based on in true law, true historical facts, truth in religion, what it is, what it is not, relative to spirituality and relative to what is happening now. Unity in economics, are not limited to what you may have assumed or to what you have been told. And once you have read this book, booklet, pass it on to those you love. Opening statement by Tyshrick Bay. I want to address the unity in constitutional principles, but I also want prior to a break a few questions because I want to see where your minds are so I can go there. It is better to feel where the people are and work off that than to prepare something and bring you something just because it might be interesting. Because it doesn't really work. We need to work with the spirit and what needs to be fixed. On unity. First of all, unity is something people always throw about um, with us and they always say we need unity, unity, unity. It must be understood that the word unity is presented to you, as presented to you, and is presented to you. What it actually means is nationhood. Usually people say we need to get together to do something. We need to get together to do some economic things. We need to get together spiritually, economically, and politically. Well, guess what? That's not true. We're, we've always been together. We party together. We go to picnics together. We go to barbecues together. We go to jams together, whatever. And we all, we've always been together. What we have not had are national principles, quote unquote, that bind us as one on a political forum. No matter where we are, or whatever part of the land we are in, or at, uh, with a common law. And that's the principle of unity. It's called anciently, not modernly, anciently, Constitution. You must understand that Constitution did not begin with the misconcepts a lot of us have that the Europeans bought in constitutional principles. Constitutional principles are ancient. 
as ancient as government and civilization is. Organized civilized government is based in constitutional principles and is called positive law. Positive law is called jurisprudence. Jurisprudence is founded in nature's God and nature's law. That which is founded by the creator and nature. All universal law, or what we commonly refer to as Allah, all law. And for those who may be confused, Allah is a feminine word and is a feminine appellation or feminine name. So don't get confused with this masculine and feminine game that they've been playing with you in the name of religion. Because it deals with divine law, universal. One of the things I recognize as one of the great weaknesses among us and why most quote unquote vampires have been able to suck off the energies of the Asiatics of this planet and not just particularly here, but on this planet as a whole that has been smoked by quote unquote religion in our concepts and what religion is and what religion is not. Religion originally as founded by the ancient Moabites were teaching systems of our relationship with nature, your building blocks, the way you are made, how you operate in nature, how nature operates with you, your connection with everything that is in nature. And this is called divine law. It is not spooky and it is not conjecture. It is not based in beliefs. These are fundamental, functional facts. However, wicked colleagues, priests, and thieves have used these religious systems to create, quote unquote, secret principles for themselves to rule the masses. They start injecting agendas that have nothing to do with divine law, quote unquote, creating and making up, quote unquote, versions of, quote unquote, gods and then selling them to the public and to the people, then dividing the people, then sucking off of them and using, quote unquote, the devil, quote unquote, as a scapegoat and thereby ruling the world. That is the real deal. So when most people look at the hybrid Europeans and look at different armies and are saying, oh, wow, Look at all the things they are doing to the world. Believe me, it is not religionists that did it. One of the biggest problems with us trying to get out of this thing is with the muddled concepts of and about our salvation, quote unquote. And we run to the very people who actually are the vampires. And one of the hardest things to do in communicating with people is to tell the truth and to have them accept it because they want to beat you up. Because most of us are biased by whatever denominations or, or scholarism, secularism, and religionisms we belong to. And I am Muslim, but I will never deny that the wicked caliphs created divisions in Islam. The Quran says there shall be no secularism in Islam, yet you have all kinds of sects, quote unquote, just like in all other religious denominations. So let's not be or get self-righteous about these matters. The other deal is we must remember that both Muslims and Christians, etc., maintain, quote unquote, slaved, slaves, and uh, forced servitude. So again, don't get self-righteous. The weaknesses that we have is that when we don't know the real history of our social and political connection here in North America, the Crusaders have buried a lot of this, that history. And therefore, much of that is connected to us or that is our actual birthright we reject. Because we think, that we think it belongs to 
the hybrid Europeans, the old, the old deal of throwing the baby out with the bathwater is part of vampirism. Because in our blind rejection, actually, we are throwing out the political power to our birthrights by denying something because we assume that someone else is the founder of established government, which includes religion. I want to hit on certain things because it is important for you to understand and comprehend and not to assume otherwise. I may say certain things that technically and organizationally people don't say or don't want to say because it destroys institutions. But I'm not gaming like that. I'm for freeing my babies. I don't want my babies to suffer as I have suffered. And I will sacrifice me to make sure they have a chance. And I am not selling out. Secret institutions, masonry, skull and bones, Jesuits, etc., Knights of Columbus, Ku Klux Klan, the whole crew. Why are they wearing our fez? Because they are all using the ancient Moorish principles of government to rule you with. When you start rejecting them out of hand without explanation or without examination, thinking that those clubs belong to them and that um, and have nothing to do with you, you have made your first mistake. Because that is your real history buried. It is not quote unquote black history. Your history is in those lodges. Your history is in governments around the planet. That is a diversion. We get into this, this thing. Oh, that secret societies, and that is his thing. No, that is Cody, because Moors taught the Europeans masonry. Masonry is just a modern system of structured government based on the ancient mystery schools of the ancient Moabites to bring them into government. We taught them governmental principles, civilization principles. But in order to rule you, they must not allow you to know that that's what it is. That is the nature of secrecy. Not that it is a secret, because it really is not so much a secret as you think it is. They even hide it in yoga in your advanced yoga lessons. If any one of you want to begin freeing yourselves from a suppressed mind of what you think religion is and what you think it is not and what you think spirituality is and what you think it is not, breath, breathe, meditate, take ablution, pray, and go get yourself an advanced yoga book and read it from front to back and from back to front and free yourselves. These and those are keys. I'm throwing that out there because you need to know it. United States. The other thing is you must understand the constitution that evolved for the United States, Central America, Central North America. First, you must know that it is not the only United States. So when you say United States, you don't let any, any, anyone play with you. And we're not just talking the different jurisdictions of quote unquote United States within this particular territory. We are talking about the fact that there is more than one United States political forum in North, Central and South America. And you have the United States of Mexico. You have the United States of Brazil. You have the United States of South of El Salvador, and these are all United States of America. The United States of America in Central America, you assume, in Central North America, you assume is a national name. You must understand that it is not a national name. It is a political confederation phrase absent of the national name, and this is the United States of Morocco that you've been assuming was the United States of America. 
And that is the great Masonic secret. America is al Moroccan or al Moroccanos. And we the people, that is the stated uh, or that is stated in the preamble for the Constitution of the United States or Constitution for the United States is Society A. Al Mor uh, Republica El Moricanos, and that is we the people who set this Constitution for the United States of America, which is the unity or the unit between the few select European sons and the Moors who govern, whose government was beginning to fall. And it was a compromise. It wasn't like the Moors got a good idea and thought they would be moral and good and teach the Europeans government and make this thing nice and peaceful for our posterity. posterity. No, the Moors government was falling apart because of divisions, economic subversion, political subversion, etc. And so teach them government. And the fate was charted, and we Moors, the Aboriginal people of the land, the true Americans, recognized that if we didn't do something, we would lose it all. And so Chief Justice Ben Bay, who you have heard about in history books as Ben Banneker, was assigned the job to teach them masonry or orders of government. And this is the role, the real role of quote unquote, Van Bay in what they call modern U.S. history and why you see Washington District of Columbia laid out Masonically. But you can only see that from the air. And that's on the side. And that's something for you to research on your own. And you must understand that relationship. Um, now, on the, on the matters of the economics that was discussed at this lecture in 203, they asked me about money, the real money. And you must also understand that most of you have never handled money, quote unquote. There may be a few here that are older and have handled silver and gold coins, but not too many. And most of you young brothers and sisters have never handled money. And the last time they had a silver coin operative at North America was in 1964. And around 1968, they sent out agents, U.S. agents, out as private uh, entrepreneurs who were giving you so many Federal Reserve notes for whatever silver coins you had. 50 cent pieces and silver dollars, etc. They were actually government agents, ETC, who were really trying to get the real money because that was the money. And I want you to think about this and to practice this when you go out and do your dealings. And that this is the principle that we need to carry into practice. Even those of us who are dealing with business or in business. Without economic security, you have nothing. First, you must understand that you don't have any money because you haven't been allowed to have money. So don't start saying you have money. You must begin to change your language. Call it finance. When you are paying bills, you are not paying bills. It is a transfer that is given as a lien, a transferred, quote unquote, lien that is basically discharged. But the lien is maintained on you in your name for, quote unquote, credits. And credit is nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Credit is the system that the Albion hybrid Europeans set up after they overthrew the Moorish government to maintain the forced servitude and to assume that you could not have any money to buy yourself out of servitude the plot was set forth to steal all the money and to send it to Europe understand that no debt that no debt this is law 
that no debt can be satisfied without gold or silver coins. And when you think that you are paying a bill, they accept the artifice and they dissolve or it or discharge it on their books. But the lien is placed upon and against you in your name. And this is how they really misuse the social security uh, number, the driver's license, the birth certificate, and the marital license. Of course, you know, the marriage licenses come under Article 39 of police powers. I repeat, marriage licenses come under Article 39 of police powers. It has nothing to do with divine anything. And that's the system of controlling the womb without you getting offended. In other words, the state, quote unquote, corporate state, plays the pimp. And that way they control the issue, quote unquote, under quote unquote, wardship, W-A-R-D-S-H-I-P. And you are not fighting it because you think slavery is over. But you just signed a contract. And of course, you know how to qualify that or how uh, to reserve your rights. And this is for most of the people who have been studying contract law, etc. And so slavery is Slovakian. Understand that you, when you use the word slavery, that it is Slovakian. And that is when the Red Russians went into Czechoslovakia and forced servitude on them uh, or the Slavic nations or Slavic tribes. And slave actually means Slovakian. It does not mean you. And when you say that you are a slave or you are arguing issues in reparations and you say slave, you have already taken yourself out of the jurisdiction and it's not going to work. And they know that you're not Slovakians, you are Moors. But they put um, the connotative on it, on the word slave, as if it is a noun describing the condition of forced servitude. And that is connotative, but it is actually a nationality. And these are tricks and you must change your language. Unity is national. The unity that is necessary for you to begin fixing this thing is called nationalization, politically. And we are not talking about your beliefs or how you feel or your emotions and where you are at. It is happening. And we are